Good morning, good people. It's Wednesday, not Monday. It's going to be a struggle all day. You're going to think it's Monday. Hey, we got a lot to get into. We're going to tr talk about Truth Social, a.k.a. DWAC. We're going to talk about Meta as they attempt to go after Twitter. Um, there's just a lot that's going on. And, um, and I'm just going to talk to you very briefly at the end about not marrying a stock. A lot of people marry stock. I talked about Neo and I talked about, um, I said something about Neo and the Neo army was like, really, really? Listen, let's stick to the facts. Let's take, let's trade with our, our, our like Keenan says, trade with the charts and not your hearts, okay? Let's get right into it. All right, so look, um, at this point, um, e, the Dow was down, NASDAQ, S&P, they are all down, all right? It being Wednesday after a holiday, there was some profit taking and all of that. Um, I This Wednesday, I wouldn't take as a uh, snapshot of how the entire week is going to be. All right, let's talk about Meta first, okay? Let's talk about Meta first. Uh, let's see here. Uh, first. You may see that Rivian is up at the point of this. Rivian is up because Amazon rolled out its first electric vehicle van from Rivian in Europe. Okay, uh, Amazon rolled out its first electric vehicle van from Rivian uh, in Europe. Now, let me just go to Neo right now. I think that short term, that um, I think short term that yeah, you may see a little bump in Neo. But for me, NEO is not a, a long-term investment. For me. Now, if it's for you, that's fine. Someone said, hey, you didn't mention the fundamentals. It doesn't, you don't get it. It's not about the fundamentals, all right? Um, it's a Chinese ADR. And unless you understand what those are, then you stand mm -hmm. to uh, lose a lot of money. If you do understand, you, you stand to make a lot of money. Now, you could make a lot of money with NEO, short term swinging it but me personally i just wouldn't be doing a long term investment now a lot of you have made a lot of money and this is not anything negative towards the fundamentals of neo okay but it is our relationship to china and as you guys know i tapped out of neo in 2021 because of that okay amazon is on the up, I'm sorry, not Amazon, Rivian is on the upswing. And so me personally, as far as a long-term investment, I would rather put my money in Rivian than Neo. And only for those facts, not because of the fundamentals, cars delivered, margins, none of that. Um, uh, because here we go. China is restricting exports from some uh, metals widely used to make semiconductors. And now we are refusing to uh, send semiconductors to China. And then China comes back and then the U.S. looks to restrict China's access to cloud computing services to protect advanced technology. You know, we have this back and forth, right? That's not all. China is going through uh a China is 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 their economy is not doing good right now. Uh, they tried to reopen. It didn't work so good. And so for those reasons that their economy, young people in China are struggling. And because of those reasons, I believe that even though they did well, Neo, I believe that's going to be short lived. And yes, you can make money going up. My point was you can make way more money going down, pull up a NEO chart for the last two years. And I know all stocks are down, but NEO has really, really tanked. So me personally, I do shorts on NEO. And that's all I was saying. So uh, I just wanted to get those at, that out there on NEO. Yes, you can make money on NEO. But for those of you that have NEO long-term, don't be afraid to also short it or do some puts on NEO to regain some of the money that you've lost. Just do it in another broker, okay? So I'm not trying to, I want to help you guys that are stuck in NEO, and I know people that are down massively in NEO, and I just wanted to offer some solutions, a way to make your money back. It's okay to have positions in NEO and you're holding it, I get it, but how can you make some of that money back? Open up another broker just to keep things flat and just 
short it when it goes down. Because if you look at the chart, the way down is way longer than the way up. You, you just see it just fell much longer, right? That's all I want to say on, on that. Let's keep it going. So uh, Meta, 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 Meta. Meta is uh, Meta Cloud launches Twitter Challenger app called Threads on Instagram tomorrow. So Meta is coming after Twitter with an app called Threads, and that will be tomorrow. OK, sorry, good people. I got to sneeze, but I want to get this up. All right. So look at that. Neo is up. Neo was uh, was up and then the pre-markets now is down, not by much. <clears throat> but today is not a day where I am taking it as a snapshot the way this week is going. All right. Neo <clears throat> did well and uh, had a comeback based on the news that they had uh, last week. Right. All right. So now let's switch to uh, DWAC, Digital World Acquisition. Now, here's one thing. That is absolutely crazy. DWAC is up in the pre-markets 11% on a day where everything else is going to open red. The reason why that's crazy is, look at this good people. SPAC seeker merged with Trump's media company agrees uh, to settle with the SEC. So, what that is about is uh, Trump's SPAC announced a massive fraud settlement in the SEC. So you would say that would make the uh, stock crash, but it's actually running up because uh, when I talked about DWAC earlier, a lot of people don't understand what SPACs are, right? So this SPAC was formed. It is what's called a blank check company. It was bef it was formed before they merged with True Social. And you have to understand that these are two separate entities that are going to merge. Right. And that's what a SPAC is about. Right. SPAC is the, the SPAC is the uh, DWAC is the uh, blank check company. Right. So the suit wasn't against Donald Trump's uh, True Social. It was against the, uh, the SPAC. Right. DWAC. And so if you look here, look to the bottom, all right, DWAC, see here, price Trump's digital world could short squeeze soon. Now, those of you that know me know that when it comes to SPACs, what do I look for? You got it, the warrants, right? So as you can see, DWAC is up 15% pre-market, right? This is a DWAC, DWAC warrants, right? That's what the W is for. It's up 25%, all right, in the pre-markets. Now, unfortunately, you cannot buy the warrants before opening bell. Had we known that it was going to be running like this on today, we would have bought it mm, Tuesday before closing bell, all right? But, the, of course, the news comes out on the weekend. Now, be careful of the chase at the time that you would be seeing this because a lot of times it's turn around and it goes down. I just want to bring this information uh, to you guys. All right. So what else do we have here? Let's look at our friend Tesla. Tesla is pretty much flat. I wouldn't call that wouldn't be a, a great deal of concern for me. All right. For me personally, this is Tesla. Remember, it, it was uh, last we did a call on it. We were looking at 280. It hit 280. So we're looking good uh, there. Uh, I have been doing uh, my options on Tesla daily and I've been cashing out and selling daily, especially after a weekend. So I am currently not in a play. I did make a play on um, uh, Monday and uh, made my money, took it and ran all right so let me uh in 30 seconds tell you guys about not getting married to a stock right now if someone says if you have neo and someone says something negative about neo don't get upset make sure you check the facts and see because you can have a stock and be bullish on that stock but you can also uh i would suggest in another platform 
short it if some temporarily bad news comes take that money and still add it to your positions dollar cost average right and so just remember this is about strategies good people okay strategies 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 now i just wanted to say that because a lot of people if, if you know i said uh, mara and riot were some great options for crypto and um and then some people might say hey are you saying that crypto is no good i'm saying no use this money you guys saw how much i'm up with mara what am i going to do with my mara i'm going to eventually take all of my winnings from mara and i'm going to put it into crypto i'll 90 percent i'm going to put it into bitcoin all right and so never get married so i know some friends of mine that are really 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 one of my relatives are really down in neo okay he 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 went he went bullish in neo so i'm showing him a way hey you're down this much and he had a lot of money in neo so i'm showing you hey look why don't you take a minute and short it and he he was like no i like neo i says if you like it and it shows you a downward pattern, then that's the time to short it and make some of your money back. Take your emotions out of it. Let's look at Neo really quick. So if we look at Neo nah, last year, right? Look at this, all right? So just in the last year, it has lost 50%, right? So this is what I mean. If you're doing call options or you're holding the stock, you're pretty much, it's been range bound. But if you would have been shorting, 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 you could have been making money all the way down without getting your emotions uh, tied into it. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. At one time, Neo was $62. You could have been making money all the way down with Neo, right? And so I, I come here to offer solutions for those of you that are, are taking a bath in some of these, listen, don't do revenge trading. Don't think that you even have to make up your money in the same stock. But when you see a chart like this, believe it. When you see something like this, believe it. All right. Uh, <laughs> and just ride the wave. Okay. So, hey, I want to also tell you guys that um, you still get 16 free stocks with Moomoo. Look at that. Um, Moomoo is still offering you for a $100 deposit. You still get five free stock and you still get your $100 back. OK, make sure you partake of that. And then for those of you that want 12 more free stock, you can deposit $100 in the Weeble. And you can look at that, receive up to 12 free stock with just $1. Of course, I would put $100 in there. And for those of you that want to know, I do all of my options with Weeble. Uh, I just like the way the platform is. And so it works for me. Again, these allergies are kicking my butt this morning. So I apologize for the eyes and all of the draining and all of that. Just wanted to get this up to you guys or out to you guys in a timely manner. We will see you later on today. Live, love, laugh, and learn.